Operation teaching of rebar thread rolling machine. Replacing the thread roller tutorial. Tightening the screw on the slide knife. Tighten the screw so that it cannot slip. The secondary function is to prevent the spring in the slider from falling. Perform the second step after fully tightening. Loosen the screws on the handpiece. It should be noted that this is a short screw, which should not be installed incorrectly. Push the nose cover forward to the end. Remove the headgear. Tap gently when it cannot be removed. It can be easily removed as long as the direction is aligned. Next, loosen the three screws of the handpiece cover. The head can be rotated by prying with a wrench. Remove the second screw. Remove the last screw. Gently shake the handpiece with both hands. The head cover can be removed after the locating pin is loosened. This machine is equipped with helix angle. Remove the thread rolling wheel. Note that the point of the eccentric sleeve faces the center during installation. Take out the thread rolling wheel to be replaced. Installation sequence of thread rolling wheel clockwise 1 to 3. The trademark can be installed outward. Install the head shaft cover. Pay attention to the locating pin. Install the screw. Tighten all screws evenly. Rotate the head to find the screw hole. Install the headgear.
sure. Align screw holes. Tighten the screw. Loosen the screws on the slide. Release and let the slider pop out. Rotate the handle backwards after releasing all. The rib peeling knife shrinks and is in a rib peeling state. Loosen the four screws on the rib stripper plate. After loosening, the size of the stripped rib can be adjusted. Take out the test bar and adjust it with the thickest end. After clamping the test bar, tighten the screw of the rib stripping plate. Test bars are supplied with a 16 to 40 thread wrench. It should be noted that the standard test bar for thread is also different. Typically may customize the test bar according to the thread standard to be processed. After peeling and debugging, the diameter of thread rolling is adjusted next. Rotate to find the quick adjustment screw. Loosen the lock nut. Push the nose sleeve forward to open the rib stripping slider. Use the thin end of the test bar to adjust the thread diameter. Turn the quick adjusting screw to make the thread rolling wheel clamp the test bar. Take out the test bar and tighten the lock nut. Thread and stripping commissioning completed. Next, take out the round steel sent by the customer for thread rolling test. Metric thread is to be processed this time. There are also two metric nuts. The thread angle and pitch of metric thread are different from those of steel bar coupler in China. Debugging thread rolling length formation. Loosen the screw and move it to the left for long, otherwise it is short. Debug the long with reference to the ruler. This is to adjust the length of peeling. Move the slider to the right to lengthen the peeling, and vice versa. Tighten the round steel. About one centimeter away from the blade. Add cutting fluid to cool and protect the blade and thread rolling wheel.
After the water is discharged from the water pump, the pump can be started by shaking the handle. Continue to roll the thread by rocking the handle forward. Start threading with a little force and move forward automatically after threading. Manually intervene the threading length to turn the machine over and back to check the thread condition. The thread diameter is just right, and the processing can be continued. Pay attention to the operation process when continuing to process the unfinished thread. Press the emergency stop to start work. Open the rib stripping disc to prevent the knife from damaging the threads that have been machined. Close the emergency stop and start again. The machine will automatically follow the machine thread. When the thread rolling stroke is touched, the machine is switched to turn back. After the thread exits from the thread rolling wheel, it is required to manually rotate the handle until the machine head retreats to stop. Long required for measurement. Remove the workpiece and check the thread again. If the thread is full and free of burr and broken thread, it is deemed as qualified. Our factory has a full range of models to support customization. Sub-model can process 300mm thread. Thanks for watching.